Hey everyone! Welcome back to some more. Let's play Black Mesa. In the last episode, we were busy fi destroying and fixing whatever the heck this is. <laughs> some sort of factory where we are plugging things in which causes these feeding tubes to rupture in very particular places or have the risk of rupturing. And then we actually have to blow the gasket off of it. Whatever this thing is has issues. And we have to destroy it to put the system back in a stable state. We're doing this in order to climb the gigantic pumps, whatever these things are. So we can get up to new areas where we can access other spots. We're fighting more... I'm gonna keep calling them Tharun. We're fighting more brutes. We're seeing that they might... Uh, everything here... Well, at least the brutes look like they're being grown or manip... Uh, forced into this predicament they're in, into servitude, or uh, as soldiers. But I, I don't yet know if it's because they, they're they just grown here, and they don't know anything else, or if they're captured from something, and then changed into these things. In any case, we are working our way through this soldier factory. And hopefully we'll find a way to shut it down, and or stop the invasion of our planet. We've seen that the Vortigaunts definitely don't... Well, I mean, yeah, they don't really care to work in the factory. I suppose they would rather not be here. It's not like they have any great protection. They're terrified of the Tharun mind-controlling them. Let's see how much more trouble we can get into. Before we walk into the center of this, Oh no, we can't. Oh, I guess we're supposed to. I'm guessing this will lead us up to something where we have uh, some, some sort of mechanism by which we put a portal here and we come out through one of those other drains. That's too odd of a pedestal for us not to understand what it's used for. Right, and we're inside something, or this place looks like it's grown. We've seen things stitched into what seems to be flesh, or some sort of organic matter here. Really disgusting, I love it. Glowing, glowing blisters is what I said right there before we hit the, the load screen. Hopefully you guys haven't minded the load screens. No one has mentioned it that they've minded them so far. This game would be unrecordable if I was actually trying to keep them in. I do occasionally let the loading words show up, so just to hint at you guys that this is the only reason why I'm cutting these. So disgusting, I love it. This feels like an aliens movie to me. With how this area is shaped like ribs or something. Like we're inside the chest cavity of a creature. 
Raphael Perry was curious as to how on earth Gordon has survived so long without wearing a helmet. By the way, in one of the comments, I think, on part three. I believe that we are wearing a helmet. It's not shown in the advertisements. Gordon isn't generally shown wearing it, but I, I'm pretty sure he must be wearing it. Because we have an oxygen supply when we're underwater. And we have a HUD displayed to us as well, which wouldn't be visible. I mean, it's not like Gordon's wearing some high-tech glasses that stay on his face when he's underwater either. So I think this is all an integrated part of the suit, and we are wearing a helmet. just came from. So that leads back down to that pedestal. Is that the same one? It feels like it is. We're back to where we were before. Saying, I think, in the last episode, that we hadn't fought very many more grunts. Oh, that's right on top of my head, isn't it? <laughs> why? Why wouldn't it be on top of my head? That it's growing over the structure tells me that this is still alive. Like grass growing to replace something that was just cut. Or placed within your yard. They should take a pounding. not want them to be behind me, so we are going to destroy them before we move on. Power 90%. Power level is 100%. Our friends in Black Mesa must be still tracking us. Okay, they've used more ammunition there as well, but oh well, let's move on. I guess we can always just try to run and ignore the enemies if we do run out of ammo. Our jumpsuit will let us do that a little bit better.
That was a good throw, but I suspect that's just a tele that's another supply depot, a uh, supply cache, not an enemy. Hello. Guess we're going this way. Ooh. Oh my goodness! I love the little hops they do to try to avoid slow moving or slower moving projectiles or just get out of your line of su uh, fire that's really nice now i know what i must have looked like in the unreal uh, series when i was trying to dodge the uh scar and th their attacks well i think they hopped too it's been a long no they rolled to get away from you well we were at full life but good god Running through hornets was not very pleasant for us. Power 35%. Power 50%. No ammo for my weak weapons. Some ammo for my stronger ones. I want to see if we left any any other supplies back in the other cache. Power 65%. Power 65%. A tiny bit. But only shielding. I like how it glistens. Everything glistens here. Oh, we didn't need that. I didn't. I did not even see this. Everyone, we have a full energy and life system here. Much more efficient than the ones we have at uh, on Earth. I'm guessing no attempt to speak to this race had worked earlier. I don't think we missed anything here. We can't get into that vent. Alright, well, let's take the exhaust up. Oh, interesting. These charge my energy weapons. It's a good thing I, I, I took one out. Does it charge this one as well? No, only the gluon gun was charged. I think. It sounds like an alarm is going off. Cooler version of the gravity gun fight. I'm sorry. I'll try to avoid killing you. But I can't shoot through the glass.
But if you get in the way, I am going to kill you. <laughs> Portagons. Oh, the glass is gone. Okay. Oh, we can destroy the glass. both lived. All, oh, all three of the Four. All four of them lived. You know, in the first half-life, these things... Uh, second. Second half-life, these things could restore your, your energy. I guess they can't do that <clears throat> with the shackles on them. version of the waste system. Brutes. Failed brutes, I'm guessing. We can see the arms and the bats here in these flesh mounds. Oh, wow, yeah! They are just dumping the grunts right into the... Into the laser there. Which must cut apart their body into smaller bits, and then it's ground into just... Guck. Why? Maybe these are ones that resist them, and they're fighting them? Lucky that we had a weapon of some s that interacted. A weapon of some sort that interacted with those chargers. Let alone that our suit and our own physiology can interact with the health and shield systems here. Uh oh. Okay, but say it is way too quiet, which makes me think final boss. The final boss in the original Half-Life was something called Nalaf... I can't pronounce it. It began with an N. And it was its own stage similar to Gonark. And it was really weird how you had to fight him. Because you had to destroy all these crystals on the side, which opened up its head. Then you had to spring upwards to shoot into its head to kill it. It was really strange. I loved it. I'm guessing... Something similar will happen here. But based on how different the Gonark fight was here, maybe this will be very different. Okay, we go up there. Sorry for all the uh, clackiness. I have a very clacky keyboard. Oh! Hey! It's the pods I was talking about earlier. From uh, from the first half, like that, I, re I recall. And this is a treadmilly area, too. This area we want. Okay, so this is somewhat similar to the first half, like this zone, then. I don't think you were allowed into those, so we will want to avoid walking into the red beams here. Let me get these with the 
duck jump. So they arrive here not glowing. And when they pass through this one, they're glowing. Oh, how about it? An alarm went off and... We were ejected out of that area. It looks like there are occasional rejects, which I'm assuming is what they're dropping down here. We have the ammo. We could try destroying one and see what's inside of it. In the first Half-Life, they were all... They all contained grunts, if I recall correctly. I'm just going to make the assumption falling down there is not what we want to do. I love how different this place feels than the Vortigaunt City, a town we have been in earlier as well. This does not feel Vortigaunt created. I'm guessing we shoot those, but let's avoid doing that at the moment. Is, is this a lift? It's not power. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> well, we got one of them once. We know this fire's underwater, but we're just about out of all other ammunition. That looks like where we want to go. Me, bull squid. Thank goodness you didn't walk up and just whack me with the tail. I see the teleporter. We're gonna want that. Oh, I heard there's another one. I heard it reacting to the hornets. I think that's clip shut, so we don't want to go that way. We're going to want to be careful of those. Our hornets won't destroy them, but we don't want to step on them. Alright, let's see where you take us. What do you think? So they do still contain grunts, but these ones are unarmored. It seemed eager to fight. I, I'm guessing these things are indeed grown here, as opposed to some uh, a natural creature for Zen.
This feels like this is making an army, and this couldn't have been designed to only invade Earth. There must be something else that this is, or in addition to Earth. Galunga. Another thing that they're, uh, well, another invasion that they're doing, or have planned. Okay, we can't get back up up there. Let's go back to the teleporter. Oops. I wonder what would happen if we destroyed a non-glowy one. Galunga. Okay, a uh, quality assurance. They don't look any different when they Galunga. come out of the other side here. Galunga, do we go this way? We do not. Where we came from. Oh, hello. A little secreted path up here. Some sort of cable. I'm, I'm assuming this is where we have to go. so dead. I am leaning forward in my chair as much as I can to try to get out of the water. <laughs> okay, looks like the teleporter moved as well, so maybe we won't have to do this again. I hope it did. It's a, it's a bit of a run around. It didn't. We'll find out right here. It did. Okay, we're in a different area now. Given the penalty of what happens to you if you fail one of the jumps, I really don't want to uh, auto-load. I feel like it's probably best. It's not, but it's probably for the best video-wise if we suffer, if we fail. Although, to be fair, there's a recharger right there, so it's not like we can't recover from failing a jump. They're watching the growth and or they're watching for any mutations on these things. I haven't seen any plugs. Or the like that we're supposed to unplug as it were. Hello. It was just up, 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 if I remember correctly, for the first Half-Life, so we're going to want to probably do the same. Ho, 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 ho! Don't touch the wires, or the lasers, or wires for that matter, if they were wires, which they're not. Oh, okay, we can do this. Thank you, whoever put that little railing there. I'm not allowed to cr crouch anymore. 
chest, that's fine. This feels a lot like the waste of uh, re residual processing to me. Alright, we can teleport up here now if we fall off one of these areas. And we go this way. I want a little more breathing room between the pods. I would be really nervous if we had to worry about these things opening up. It's only a squadron of brutes that we have to fight. I don't... Guys, I don't know why it makes sense, but it just makes sense to do the things you see me doing in here. We're desperate to get up. But we don't know... We don't know why. It's the only way for us to go. I suppose in the end, which is a good enough reason as any. something. I mean, there's lots of things too here, but not making the sound I th that I thought. That's really helpful, whoever's uh, activating these portals for us. We're nearing the end of the treadmilling. I wonder if someone... No, no one's going to translate their language. There's not enough uh, phrases they say. It's just gibberish. Well, I don't really want to walk through that. We've been managing... We've managed to avoid all of these so far. I like to think we can avoid this one too. But it certainly doesn't look like it's possible. If we fall down there, what do we gain for doing so? A wire. Is that a button? Or is that just a light? It's a light. I'm assuming that's what we had to do, or maybe maybe it's not. Maybe you're allowed to walk through those, but I don't, I don't think you want to. I thought I heard a gushing sound for a second. Of 
forward step, but we can do it. I did hear a gushing sound. I heard it again. You know, this reminds me of climbing the Citadel also. A little bit. I like it. Oh, okay, I see. Get in the middle. There's enough room for us to maneuver here. And then get out the sides if need be. That... <laughs> I didn't know what to do there. Uh, it looks as if there, it, when it detects that we're on that one, it will slide us off of it. Like, the crate itself will be moved into a different treadmill. It's gonna push us out this way. Here's the alarm. Oh, no. Oh, I'm dead again. Instinct is taking over, and I just don't want to stay on it. I, I want to get off of it as immediately. So this time we we will fight my instinct and stay on the cocoon and see what happens to us. So we go here. That opens. No way for us to get out. We can't have jumped. It, it, we die it's for so, for some reason. <laughs> I think it, I think maybe it caught our ankle. I'm not sure where we go, but we we, we just died. I I think we, we we can't stay there. Let's get off of it. Get back onto it again. I guess if it made it this far, they really don't want to get rid of the pod. Stay on this. That was fun. I actually like that. Uh, yeah, that's death. Okay, we don't want to go that way. Well, that was a, a lucky pop. They put a lot of work into making sure that particular... Like, the pods are clean of anything. Getting that far... Why? I 
hear the screaming. Oh wow! They're just lifting, lifting them up. They'll just have e endless reinforcements. So the direction I'm going is not the way I want to go. You need to go up. I think. Yeah, okay, there was nothing down this way. That's that's where we came in. Now there's alarms and defenders around. Oh, I see what we have to do, but I messed that up. We gotta get on top of one of these and then jump. Yeah, over this. Oh, that was perfect, but I accidentally fled. I think we're, I think we're this dead here. Yeah, we're, we're just dead. We're not allowed to climb. Don't underestimate me. I played lots of these games before game. But seriously, we should have died there. I won't have that there looking at me. That was a point blank MP5 grenade, which is what did that to me. Can we destroy this? Bring this down, that would stop the invasion. All of the invasions that, that likely this is contributing to. Oh, frame rate! combination of trying to defend myself, the low frame rate and not knowing where to go doesn't help any. I think we just have to run, well not run, but we have to get across this, obviously. How do we do it? I don't... 
I don't know about if I like this particular part. There's a lot of flying things. I can't really get cover. Like we, we, we can't just stay here and kill them bit by bit. I guess we'll try. Oh, we did not get enough ammunition. We gotta go back up. Oh, it does charge all my energy weapons. Yeah, uh, not a fan of this particular part. So we got, we, I need to move up because we don't have uh, any other weaponry. Out for us, I think we've killed most of the flyers. I'm going to put a save here. It's a shame we had to kill that one border gun, but we had to. Badly hurt at this point. We have to kill every flyer. We can't let the Faroon exist. Or they'll just, just, just shred us. to them. I'm sorry. But you're too risky. Leave alive. He'll just shoot us in the back. Let's not pat our score as it were, Tim. Kill everything on the way. I'm sorry. But I have to. Oh, you'll get mind control. I guess I'll try not to do so.
what was uh, what's the quote I'm thinking of from Gafgarian at the moment for some reason? Don't blame me, blame yourself or God. Sorry about that. Uh, this isn't as bad as I thought. I thought that the Thugroon were just endlessly spawning. They are not doing so. Music's over, so we made it to where we're supposed to go to. That was a lot of death. We can't interact with any of the things here. I feel like we should stop. Although we haven't been... I think it feels like 49 minutes or so we've been playing for. Let's do a little more. The, the factory still goes on. Sorry about your kin. Okay, I see what we do to make it up through more of the factory. Okay, this to get on the other side of the scanner there. We haven't tried walking in through one of those, but I'm pretty sure it's death. Or the, all the alarms go off. But we've already seen what that's like. Actually, that's not very pleasant, so we definitely don't want the alarms going off. We can avoid it. I was talking about crystals and shooting them to open up the head of the giant monster at the, uh, in Half-Life 1. This, I think, is a hint that you're going to need to do that. This thing's probably invincible until you destroy that crystal that's powering it. We'll deal with this, and then we'll call the session. Or maybe not.
just one of them. Okay, just one of them stopping us from making progress. that thing until we destroy the crystal. Okay, guys, so, yep, sure enough, we need to destroy the crystals to remove that invulnerability or force field around the Tharun, and then we'll be able to kill them. That's likely a big hint. Oh, did I? Oh, thank God I didn't miss that. <laughs> That's likely a big hint is what we have to do later on, as well as something we'll have to pay attention to going forward. But we'll stop here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.